20 million dollars to fight the fire and to clean up afterwards. Fortunately, thanks to the brave and heroic firefighters, we didn't have more destruction and there were no serious injuries. So let's give a big hand to all the firefighters. What steps do we need to take in order to make sure that this doesn't happen again? So today, Governor Gibbons and I are signing a memorandum of understanding to create the California, Nevada, Tahoe Basin Fire Commission. It will have eight voting members from California and eight voting members from Nevada, and one voting member from the United States Forest Service. What is important here is that we all must work together to prevent something like the Angora Fire from ever happening again, and that is why we are directing the Commission to examine all federal, state, and regional rules and regulations and evaluate the overall effectiveness in protecting us from those fires without harming the environment. And we are looking forward to the Commission's findings and recommendations due on March 21st, 2008 on how we can help and allow property owners to do everything they can to protect themselves from fire. So which means, of course, that we are going to look at the trees that the dead trees, people infest the trees and see how many trees we have to take out. And we're going to look at all other factors, of course, too. The important thing is that we learn from the mistakes that may have been made and so to make sure that we respond accordingly. Now, with this action that we are taking today, I know that California and Nevada will rise to the occasion and we will make sure that Lake Tahoe is going to be as safe as it is beautiful. And with that, I want to hand the mic over to my friend and to Governor Gibbons for his remarks. California does not divide us, it unites us. This Lake Tahoe Basin is part California and part Nevada. Whenever an event occurs in this basin, it affects everybody. And for the Governor of California and the Governor of Nevada to come today to sign this very important agreement shows a working relationship, and a working relationship that allows for both states, both sides of the lake. All the communities and those residents here, both Nevadans and Californians, that we all think alike, that this is a national treasure and that we're here to protect the beauty of Lake Tahoe. Now this Blue Ribbon Fire Commission is going to address, as you heard Governor Schwarzenegger say, a wide array of needs. Now the members of the commission are going to represent residents, fire personnel, government, and non-governmental agencies uh, who share the desire that I just expressed. And that is to maintain the health and vitality of the Lake Tahoe Basin. And while at the same time ensuring the safety uh, of, for the residents and tourists who come here to enjoy it. Let me start also with a premise that everyone, everyone here, whether you're a business or a resident, whether you're a tourist or whether you're just an environmental group that has an interest in the lake, we all share the same goal. And that goal is the environmental beauty, health, and functioning of the Lake Tahoe Basin. These factors are essential. They're the bottom line uh, for our economic vitality in the area. Now, historically, I don't think there's a question. Uh, as you look around the basin today, uh, we have attempted to reach that goal uh, through a process which has resulted in overregulation, a process which has resulted in gridlock to where we couldn't uh, take down some of the, the dead and dying trees, just as we see across from us here, across the street, uh, that are still standing. Uh, that failure to adequately manage the forest and the watershed resources that are attached to it has resulted in what I feel is the deteriorating health uh, and, and the conditions we now see in this forest. You know, catastrophic wildfire is a condition of an unhealthy forest. Fire is natural, but catastrophic fires are a condition of unhealthy forest. And we want to have the rules changed. We want to have the uh, process changed so that we can make this forest healthy once again. And it has to be managed through proven forestry management uh, practices and sound science. And ladies and gentlemen, until we can all reach that common level of trust, 
of, and the willingness to put modern forestry practices to work, we're going to continue to stagnate. We're going to continue to have that gridlock. And to me, and I know to Governor Schwarzenegger, that is completely unacceptable for this Lake Tahoe Basin. Reform is mandatory, ladies and gentlemen. The lake is a beautiful resource shared by both tourists and residents, by California, Nevada, the nation, and the world. And today, by signing this agreement, we will have the first step forward in making that resource truly healthy, truly vibrant, and functioning for everyone. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.